Hello, my name's Dave Perry. I've been a TV cameraman for 30 years, never ever done a video review like this before, but I've been asked by several TV cameramen colleagues um, my opinion on this new tripod. So off we go. First impressions are it looks incredible. First thing I like, magnets on the legs. So when you're walking with them, they don't flop around everywhere. They sort of lock together. Let's test that. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, really good. Like that. I opted for the mid-spreader version as I don't want to have to bend down to the ground to unlock two stages of legs every time I use the tripod. So this is what appealed to me. It's one lever um, for two stages on each leg and then the mid-spreader option. So hopefully it'll save my knees. That arm does seem a bit long, but sure. I'll get used to that, all right. Um, the other selling point for me is the counterbalance system. I've read about it and I've heard about it. Um, it's supposed to work very well. There's only six stages of drag on the pan and tilt axis on the Elite 15 model. I believe there are eight stages on the Elite 18. So first impressions are, it's a direct carbon copy, literally, of a Sashler tripod. That's fine, because it's less than half the price. My everyday tripod has been a Vinton Vision 11 for the last 10 or 12 years, I think. Um, fabulous tripod, can't fault it, really solid and lightweight, everything you'd want in a tripod. However, I don't like the price of the new ones, and I do need a new one after the amount of abuse my old one's got. But I'm not paying the prices that Vinton and Sassler are asking. I got this tripod for £2,500 sterling. The equivalent Sassler 18, which is the model I would compare this to, is £5,300 sterling. And the Vinton Vision 10 system, again, which I would compare this to, is 5000 sterling. Those prices are correct of October 2019. So this is half the price. Let's see if it's only half as good. Everybody needs a strap for a tripod, and this hasn't got one. A lot of work I do is done single man. I have a camera, tripod, little sound bag, and a lighting bag as well. So, and quite often I have to carry those four things from a car park in a city centre to the actual filming location. So I'll have to work out how to get a strap on this. The tripod head does come with two spare screws, different sizes, which is a nice little touch. I know a few other companies do that now, but nevertheless, it's good to see that it's uh, carried out on this one as well. And also a spare Allen key. I'm forever losing Allen keys and tripods always need tightening up. So that's it. The second part of the video will be my review. I'm going off to film for a month now. So within the last month, I've done what I would call light work. Um, a lot of sit-down interviews and no bashing about an air travel or anything like that. The counterbalance system works well. However, what I have found is that when I'm operating the head to do small micro adjustments, I always sort of tend to hold the head around here. Don't know why, just me but I'm forever knocking the counterbalance system. So it almost needs a little guard or something just here so the heel of your hand doesn't knock it. So I managed to cobble together a strap, um, my old Vinton strap actually, and uh, I used an old DJI drone harness to attach it onto the tripod here in two points. Not great, but then better than having to carry it on your shoulder. Everything else seemed to work okay, apart from the pan and tilt drag friction. Um, it's way too light. This is on maximum. So you can imagine on a windy day on the end of the lens You just ain't gonna get a steady shot Anyway, I'll put that down to user error. I Have always believed in you should try before you buy I just couldn't get the opportunity with this tripod to do that but the specs on the website when I bought it, said it was capable of carrying 19 kilograms. This camera, and I weighed it just before I did this video, um, is 9 point, what was it again? 9.65 kilograms. And now, the big revelation, it's going back. I nearly lost this camera last week on the tripod. Why? I'll show you. So, the first stage of legs, fine, they still stay locked. The second stage of legs, every single one of them slips. So that's locked there, locked there, locked there. Now, I'll be standing close by. That's why. It was a researcher on the shoot last week who just saw it slipping and caught it. Thank God. 
Um, so I can't afford to take the risk. In my opinion, this tripod is not fit for purpose. Um, and that's what's compelled me to, to do this vlog because I wouldn't risk, I wouldn't even risk a DSLR on this tripod, let alone a broadcast camcorder. Thanks for tuning in. I'm not here to knock any product. I'm only doing this to make other buyers aware and not to make the same mistake I did. Thank you.